we are the Ingeniuses, as usual, and our vines, Capitas. And today, finally, when the day has come for the Justice League opening weekend, we are filming this right on Sunday night before the actual projection figures come out. Why do I mention that? Because I'm going to talk about that, what I'm projecting, how well the movie's going to do, and I really hope the movie's going to do well. We're going to get started with the Justice League review and our personal thoughts of what we thought of the movie. Carnita's opinion. Yes. So let's get started. So finally, the grand opening, the day we've all been waiting for to wet our pants. I hope you all took panties and enough. No, 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 pads. Okay, pads. Diapers. Diapers. <laughs> <laughs> Pull ups? <laughs> so anyway, after a long two years of waiting, editing them and post production, we finally got what we've all been waiting for, the Justice League. And just what what are your initial thoughts of it? You know what? I I was so excited to go see it, but I really, really expected more out of it. Which is why we're gonna break this video into the pros and cons of the movie. Yes. Based on our personal opinions, okay? Not not on the critics because uh, I, I just hate how Rotten Tomatoes and all you so-called professional critics, you can all go <laughs> So, let's get started with the cons, okay, just the negative aspects on w w what I thought, and then you'll you'll let us know what okay. you thought. It was Carnita's not really. Opinion. So just real quick, I'll try to be as brief as I can. Uh, there were a couple of scenes. One of them, the first one, when Arthur Curry is talking to Bruce Wayne when they have the first interaction. Um, Bruce Wayne trying to bring him along to the team, and he's about to when he takes off his shirt, right? <laughs> so anyway, he's like all showing off for you girls. So right before he, well on that scene when he's actually facing his back towards the water and he's talking to Bruce, the, just that backdrop, okay, I just didn't think it was like, ah shit, I, I just hope the DC will take the time, the budget to do more uh, practical sets instead of just like a, I mean, I, you. If you would, if you really have a knife for that, you would be able to pick Catch up that it, that was yeah. just a, a fake backdrop, okay? Uh, it, it just didn't like the CGI, which is my the next point in which I'm gonna go when uh, Clark Kent and Lewis are talking on the cornfield. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that backdrop was just that was just bad, massively C bad CGI <laughs> corn. You, they could have gone to an actual cornfield, like yes, seriously. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, see, and that's what I'm talking about. Like, oh my god, you could just spend a few more budget constraints, and god damn, it, it, it was just bad. Okay, I don't mind CGI, and I know th this is to the point where I, where I don't mind CGI. Everything's like moving so fast, and you, you're not really able to capture on the little details. How all that that part of the CGI was bad. This was bad, and this was bad. <laughs> when, fake, when everything, fake, fake. yeah, yeah. But <laughs> when you have a slow uh, scene where you're everyone is interacting, having a conversation, and you're they're actually not even moving time, around as yeah, much. they're not even moving as, around as much. You're able to capture how. I want to say how bad the CGI the detail was. was yep. It wasn't that bad where it just ruins the movie, but I, you I could tell this it's is fake. just one of the cons that I picked up. Another one of my cons that I have for the movie is that uh, initially when I found out that it was just going to be a two hour movie, I'm like, no, they, they just got to extend it to at least two hour and 15 and don't give me that bull crap that oh the studio Warner Brothers is not letting them do that I, I know that I, I know that's one one of the things but Wonder Woman was two hours and 15 uh, Suicide Squad or no 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 Batman vs Superman was two hours and a half if I'm recalling that right so don't give me that crap that uh, the Warner Brothers ah uh, shit it, it just Having so many characters, they could have at least extended it to two hour and 15 minute movie. Which is where I'm gonna go with my kind of cons. Because Please. I think, me personally, I expected more to see 
Aquaman in action. Yes. Hey, I don't know if you noticed that Aquaman did not really fight. Yeah. I, 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 I was waiting my pants. I mean, hello. <laughs> Big old body, nice sexy man. Sexy man, sexy man. Eating like a sexy man can. But uh, where's all the fighting? Mm -hmm. uh, I really expected, I mean, the, the fact that in, in the previews and, and, you know, the little clips they put out, he was one of the main guys out there like it, it looked like he was gonna be fighting as much and yes pretty much what you saw on the trailers it's pretty much the action that you see from aquaman and that's it yeah we don't want to spoil it for you we're not gonna give you much spoilers sorry i'm like Ugh. yeah and that's what happens when, when when you drink before the videos <laughs> <laughs> so this is raw okay this is nothing that we actually took the time to script out and share with we Everything. always do this very spontaneously. <laughs> <laughs> like me, what are we doing? <laughs> exactly, sorry, so I'm, like, I'm a little bit bust. So. <laughs> <laughs> With the same point that you were talking about, I was expecting to see more from Cyborg as well. I think he had so much potential, well, he has as a character, he has so much potential to do all the crazy stuff that he's able to do. And hopefully we will see that in his standalone movie. But... Again, just touching back on the point that he, he they could have sent the movie to a 2 hour and 15, maybe pushing it to a 2.30 if that was possible. Because you know when they release the home video on Blu-ray, DVD, whatever, they're going to put a stupid uh, four, extended, release. Yeah, extended release, 5 hours of undeleted cutscenes. I'm like, seriously? <laughs> just give me just give me 50 more minutes on the, on the theaters, okay? And probably a little bit of flash, but... I wasn't I, I so think disappointed Flash, that. Flash's role really, you know, he did have more scenes, more script for sure. Yeah. But Aquaman and Cyborg, I mean, Cyborg had a, a, a story, you yeah. know. And in part of him, I think that they were able to achieve what they achieved because of him. Yes. He was one of the main keys and very important role in... in in that movie, I mean, it was. even it, though he I was think, not even um, promoted as much, I, I think he, he was, was underrated. On these, yeah, exactly. I think instead of making more of an Aquaman trailer, they should have done <laughs> Cyborg because he was one of the main important characters. I think there. they underpromoted him. Yeah. So I, I really, really, really. Now, again, these are just our personal thoughts. We don't want to uh, spoil and ruin the for you just going out and see movie. We really recommend for you to go out and see movie. It's a this really movie, great story. It's really entertainment. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. What, to what you were saying, yes, the, the way they portray the characters, not, not, not the actors, but the way they implement each one of the characters into a story, it, it gets you engaged in, into their own personal stories and Hopefully we will see that a little bit more of that on the standalone Aquaman movie, Cyborg, The Flash. But uh, a lot of people like just regular fans, just a regular movie goer, it's just gonna get lost in translation with this such massive project project of a movie. Now, what do you think about Green Lantern? Oh, Green Lantern. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's that's kind of my pro. Point, one of my pro points which we're gonna go with that into a second oh, okay. now moving on to the pros of the movie because the, I'm there are a lot more than the cons and that's why I'm I would just I just said a minute ago that this movie based on what we're seeing based on other reviews that you might have already seen based on other articles that you're running into trying to spoil the movie no this is a great movie it'll be worth your time if you've been waiting for these don't don't listen to the critics you are the only critic that's gonna be able to put the word out for them. Uh, the regular movie goer, the true hardcore fan of DC in this yes. case. So moving on to the pros, there are a lot. Starting with the music, uh, if you're if you have a, if you're more of a music directed guy person, uh, I loved how they. Uh, there were a few notes if you pay attention to some of the melodies when uh, 
that man sat on the gargoyle, I think it, it was, like looking down, coming down to uh, yeah. Alfred. And uh, also the Flash when he's going around the tunnel, I don't want to spoil much of the scenes of the movie. But uh, there were a couple of melodies, a, a few notes that if you, if you were able to perceive that, like, ah, look, I'm hearing that, I'm hearing that, I, 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 ah, that's the Flash theme, ah, Batman! And, and people said that they also, um, um, they, I think that Superman had some music in that, but I didn't catch it. I didn't catch it either. No. <laughs> Woo! I think we're making this video a bit longer, so we're gonna try to rush it, but with as mo as with as descriptive as we can. So Superman, his scenes. Every I'm not gonna. I'm, this is not a spoiler. Everybody knows he's in the movie. So uh, uh, why are you spoiling this? Uh, we don't know if Superman's coming back. Everybody knows. Shut the fuck up, okay? So his scenes, okay. Every single scene where Superman, not Clark Kent, okay, Superman. I think they were a lot better. They were fantastic. They were phenomenal, better than Men of Steel. Okay, even if you disagree with me, I don't care. I personally like every single scene. Except the corn. <laughs> no, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Except of the scenes of Clark Kent. But every single scene where, from the beginning, where he's shirtless, with he barely, oh, where barely he's shirtless. comes back to life. I'm not. That's not a spoiler. You, you should already know that. Okay. And starts but takes on everyone. <laughs> that, I think he that, hands it on to everybody. Guys. Yeah, he he whips some serious Justice <laughs> yes. League ass. All of a sudden, still the very very end when he takes on Steppenwolf. I, that I, I really like that. Okay, I mean I I was kind of expecting that from Superman, but not not to that degree where I'm like, God damn you, this guy. I I think it was just better, a lot better than Man of Steel. Yeah, or okay. maybe they just didn't want to hurt him. Because yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> I know Wonder Woman was holding back. Ooh, Wonder Woman. Yes. Yes, that's another <laughs> You damn well know. Oh. She's like, don't make oh. me do this. Oh. Don't make me do this. <laughs> Ooh, Wonder Woman. I mean, I, I think I, I wasn't expecting. I wasn't <laughs> expecting the same level of uh, battle that he did in uh, the standalone uh, Wonder Woman we saw earlier in the year. But <laughs> even though she didn't have as much screen time battle-wise, I loved it <laughs> from yeah. the very first scene when he's taking on to the the these guys that are coming in with the suitcases and yeah, don't like, spoil it. Yeah, that, that's why I'm trying to. No. Uh, I'm trying to watch. <laughs> I'm, tr I'm trying to elaborate, and at the same time, I'm trying not to spoil it too much. But yeah, <laughs> Wonder Woman. <laughs> Wonder Woman has her moments. Yes. The Flash. Yes, The Flash. We said we loved his humor. <laughs> Everything was just goofy. They didn't overdo it. His face expressions <laughs> were just hilarious, guys. <laughs> Facial <laughs> expressions on point. You know, I think if I was Flash, I would be like two times more exaggerated on getting to know Batman. Like, like oh my god, I can't believe I'm working with Batman. <laughs> like, literally wetting his pants. Yeah, he had a lot of uh, split-second scenes where he, it's just a simple gesture, whether he's like uh, twitching his eyes in a certain way or just, <laughs> in, in general, he's facial reactions to whatever was going on on the scene and <laughs> it, it was just very very funny yes i i think his childish very youthful character just brought more life into the whole serious scenario that was going on yes in spite of uh, the dc cinematic universe being a really having a really dark tone into it so flash really it, it stood out for sure it stood out he had the positive <laughs> vibes <laughs> <laughs> yeah batman again uh, his uh the couple battles that he had on on his own just of course outstanding it, it was just awesome he went in kicked ass from the very first scene he had in the opening, going after the thug, breaking in, or pretty much, well, breaking out from wherever he, <laughs> he was breaking out to try to escape. And Batman, I don't have much to say other than, because not, not because he was bad, it, it was amazing. Uh, I, ju I would just hate to see really if uh, in, uh, 
In fact, the rumor or the article of Ben Affleck walking out from this project, I would really, really like, hate nah. that. Um, <laughs> people are just hating and shitting, shitting all over him, but I, I like him, okay? I like him. And uh, I, I don't know what, what the problem is. I just like the way he has portrayed. And I mean, not to get into the, his personal life, maybe that has to do something with it, but well. Moving on to, we're not gonna get all sad, but I, I just really hope Ben Affleck does not walk uh, walk away from this project. Actually, he did briefly mention on Comic Con he was not. Whether that's true or not, or not. We'll, we'll see. Please don't. <laughs> Three, two, <laughs> damn. What? <laughs> Pro that I another of the pros that I really happen to catch or I, actually a lot of us catch in the movie something I previously mentioned that I would really wanted and was hoping to see in the movie was a little reference a cameo or something in reference to the Green Lantern Green and I was really really happy when they were describing all the battle scenes on how Steppenwolf came in to grab all the mother boxes from all the different uh, cities, areas, whatever, uh, they, they were just fighting the battle scenes and in one of those you actually see one of the Green Lanterns like going at it with one of the parademons, yes, in the ring, so I, I was really happy to see that because I know that's coming. It literally was like for a split second, like if you close your eyes and opened it, missed it. Yeah, if you went to the restroom, <laughs> sorry. If you were standing in line getting popcorn, sorry uh, for you. If you were getting, taking your crying ass baby out of the auditorium <laughs> sorry you missed it <laughs> but yes uh, that, I guess that would be somewhat a semi -spo spoiler but not, but not really because it doesn't really have to do much with the movie itself but uh, anything else that you liked about the movie? I liked the whole story you know, I was not expecting that story whatsoever I went in there not really knowing what the story was gonna be um how they put all the characters together it, it was really just amazing and to tie in with that point that's one of the reasons that i personally don't like to see very many trailers after the teaser and trailer one or the second after yes. they release and all the other promo trailers they call it tv spots uh i just don't like I'm not that type of person that I, it's always hunting for Easter eggs. Yeah, researching because I don't want that uh, all, all those details in trailers. I go in for me. in in the movie theater not expecting anything but yes. to see the character that I most like yes. and their performance. And lately that has worked really well, well with us. Meaning when uh, we were skeptical uh, about Spider Man, Spider -Man. and what was that other movie? Uh, Actually, we, we, we didn't really have any expectations for Wonder Woman, but we really liked it because uh, we didn't have, like I said, we didn't have any standards for it. And we were really pleased with it, and I think this was the same scenario with, with Justice League. Regular, original, trailer, teasers, that's it. Yes, it, and it was awesome. go and watch it, because the more you dig on it, the more expectations you have, the more you know what it's about. So just go and watch it. Yeah, and chances are that you probably are going to be disappointed. Especially if you listen to the reviews. Mm -hmm. Crappy ass views. And again, don't just stay the hell away from Rotten Tomatoes. Because you guys from Rotten Tomatoes... <laughs> that on the video? <laughs> the bloopers, yeah. Yeah, the bloopers. Last but not least, uh, the post credit scenes. We're not gonna spoil it because we're not here to spoil it in case... Spoil it! Spoil it! No, 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 no. Go out and, and, and uh, see the movie. 
you go. You, you still have what at least four weeks before the next big hit comes around the corner, meaning Star Wars. So you have four full weeks to see anything interesting, and that would be Justice League. So post credit scenes, just stay after the movie has ended. No, there, no, there's there's a like there right away, and then just wait till way after. Well, you know what? I'm gonna give a semi spoiler. No, no, no. And I'm you're gonna, gonna spoil it, spoil it right. No, I, I, I'm not gonna <laughs> question. What? Who do you think? Who do you guys think is faster, the Flash or Superman, or the Flash or Supergirl? Why I'm saying Supergirl? Because on one, uh, if uh, if uh, you remember, we mentioned before we're pop collectors, and in one of the trailers that they released when they were releasing one of the DC boxes, they had the Flash uh, when uh, Arrow throwing a, of course, Arrow shooting an arrow, and Flash going after the arrow. Yet, yeah, and then uh, Supergirl being already at the other end. So, did actually Supergirl beat Flash, or uh, who do you think is faster? Who do you guys think is faster? I think. I think it's Superman. And if it's if Flash ends up winning, it's because he let him win. Okay, we'll stick with your answer for now. Me, I think it's Flash. Not because I like him better. I, I think I might say I like Superman better, but I'll tell you why. Okay, this is so just the speed force. Yes, my theory because he actually travels through time. And in order to travel through time, you need, you need to, to go. Speed. You need to go at some speed. And Superman. See, as far this, as this I is know, the thing. Listen to me. No, listen to time. me. Th listen to me. This is on the timeline that Flash is barely shooting there. Well, but remember, it's gonna these all these new city man. So do you remember? Yeah, I mean, I don't know Netflix. Flash, no, 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 yeah. he learns how to get to that certain speed. No, that's CW. Correction. Okay, well. <laughs> Sorry, there are so many Netflix series that we're, we're all caught up into that. But but you know what I mean? Like he yeah, gets yes, trained course. to get to that point. Yes. And if, if at some point in the timeline he's racing Superman, yes. he's not really ready. So but that's remember, why I said. Remember on Batman vs. Superman? on that action of Flash coming and talking to Bruce Wayne where he's breaking through the glass and talking to Bruce Wayne what was the line? Uh, I don't remember I, I don't remember what he was saying but I, th there was that one scene where he's like coming through he, he was coming through through another universe through another point okay and that's why they're gonna come in with Flashpoint the Flash movie which I, I hope it's next year I, I don't think it's gonna happen but meaning he already knows how to travel through time. And, and of course, it, it's all part of the same cinematic universe that DC is building up. So, that's only my, my only take <laughs> on why Flash is faster than Superman. Yeah. He, he is, but uh, like I said, I'm taking my guess as Superman because of that timeline. Okay, you, hardcore comic geeks, <laughs> let us know on the comments. Is she right? Am I right? What are the theories? Or, or you regular fans who are not hardcore comic book readers? What do you think? We'll see. The penguin is faster, you <laughs> big kids! <laughs> 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 and last but not least, my personal projections on how well the movie it's gonna do. Uh, we're doing this video on a Sunday night uh, of the opening weekend. Uh, probably the projections will come on later today, but unfortunately probably by the time I'm done editing the video and everything uh, The projections projections would already be up to the public, but me uh, Personally, I think the movie will do in the range of roughly over a hundred million a hundred and twenty even though uh, Warner Brothers projections are 150 I, I really hope he does that and a lot more but just the, the amount of traffic I saw at the movie theaters it's gonna do well over a hundred, not not well. What do you think it's gonna do? I mean, we took the reserved seat, so it's not like yes, we really waited for a long time. Yeah, but later. even yeah, even on the other auditoriums that didn't have the reserved seating in the in the theater that we went to, uh, we, I didn't see Much lines. Cool. I didn't see a lot of people lining up I for the other shows. I think people are watching Thor. Hey, maybe. <laughs> 
actually Ford um, uh, went down in their projection in their sales like 60% but well that's another topic for, for entertainment business 101 with Carnita Sensation. Not just kidding we're not gonna go into that bull crap. Anyway bad news though bad news I'm gonna be straight up front with you guys if you remember on the past videos I said that after every video we post we're gonna give this out and we're gonna call out winners unfortunately ever since that one last video I said that we would give this out at every 10th subscriber and unfortunately we haven't had 10 subscribers so we can draw at least two two per every 10th subscriber and same thing for our Funko's giveaway Funko exclusives from the New York Comic Con 2017 the Shredder, the DuckTales, Uncle Scrooge and just go watch our videos, go watch our videos I specified on the contest rules per se excuse me, I'm still drunk <laughs> I specified that if we would get up to a hundred subscribers mainly YouTube then we would draw within those first 100 subscribers we would draw the names for the giveaway or Funkos unfortunately we're not even half close <laughs> that's not a problem we're, we're not really we, we, we don't want to get uh, up to a hundred and a million subscribers overnight uh, but we just want you to spread the word and because I know we guarantee that one of our videos will get you a laugh will get you cracking up through any given days if you're having a dull moment but we're, I'm going to change the rules on this updated video of November 19, right? We're a week away from Thanksgiving and I said that the Funko giveaway would end on Thanksgiving. So I'm going to extend this until we get our first 50 subscribers. 5-0. And also we have these passes from Play Live Nation that will give you access to 60 minutes of gameplay. Yes. Carnitas. What do they have to do? Wait, actually, before you tell us, um, I said before that this contest of the Funkos will end on Thanksgiving. We're only four days away from Thanksgiving and it doesn't look like it's going to happen the way I explained the rules. So we're going to change it and make it easier on yourself to for you to win those Funkos as well as these 60-minute game passes. Yes. So we're going to be posting a picture and all we're going to ask you guys is to repost hashtag ingeniouses and tag two friends that you want to go play with. Spend those 16 minutes of gameplay to... Uh, play Live Nation. Oh, yes. Two of your friends because we're give, be giving out three. three of these cards per video. So you can go have fun. 60 minutes. What yes. else, Carnitas? So just remember repost a picture, hashtag, and make sure you tag your two friends. Yes. Hashtag ingeniouses, okay? We're gonna be checking on that. We're gonna be picking you guys at random. We're gonna be contacting you uh, directly to get your information so we can shoot you those passes and enjoy them before the end of the well, month. Yeah, or before the holidays or during the holidays. And unfortunately, yes, like I mentioned on the previous video, we haven't had 10 new subscribers from which we were planning to draw two, give, give or take, two or three, depending on how many subscribers we would get, or every 10th subscriber we were going to draw these, but we're going to go with that. And so you can just go have fun. If your mom and pop is, are not going to be able to give you an Xbox or a Switch, <laughs> hey, you have free video gameplay, right? Yes. Hey. It's a win-win situation. Happy holidays. <laughs> Hopefully, oh, 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 I know that. No, <laughs> hey, don't you call me a hoe. Don't you call me a hoe. <laughs> no. <laughs> so hopefully we'll have a new winner or we'll be posting it on all the social medias that we have. Follow us, subscribe, share our videos, repost, tag hashtag, your friends. Hashtag ingeniouses, okay? Yes. Don't forget. Hashtag ingeniouses giveaways. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Until next time, we are the Ingeniuses and our finds. Carnitas. And let us know what you thought of the Justice League. Yes. Till next time. Alligator. Ciao.